Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making shrimp cocktail. And by making shrimp cocktail, I don't mean we went to the store and we bought it. We have raw shrimp that we're gonna cook perfectly and then I'm gonna show you how to mix your own cocktail sauce. And do me a real quick favor, click that thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell. You'll get notifications when I post new videos. Now, let's get right to these shrimp. Okay, we have our shrimp. These are frozen raw shrimp. So we're gonna thaw these. They do thaw very quickly. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Then, to make our cocktail sauce, we're gonna need ketchup and horseradish. Not horseradish sauce. I bought the extra hot, but you probably should just get the regular unless you really like hot horseradish. And you're gonna need a pot of boiling water. So, let's get these shrimp thawed. So over our sink, we're just gonna pour the shrimp in here. And we're gonna run some warm water over these shrimp. Not hot, because we don't want them to start cooking. Just some warm water. See they're frozen together a little bit. We're gonna break them apart. These things will thaw in about five minutes. And see, you can tell these are not cooked because they're kind of greenish gray. When these are done, they're gonna be red. So, mainly, most shellfish is like this, where it's green or gray before cooking and it turns red when you cook it. Okay, so these shrimp have been sitting for about five minutes. You can see, actually, they're really soft. Now, normally I buy my shrimp that are already deveined. So I'm gonna just take the shells off right here and put them in the side. This is really easy to do. And most of the time, if I go to a restaurant that's got shrimp cocktail, I end up not eating that many because they leave the shells on and I don't like messing with it in the restaurant. So these are gonna be ready to eat, no shell on them. Look at that, see, they're nice and thawed. So there we go. I'm gonna rinse these after I got all the shells off of them. Look at them all right there. All right, so we're about to get these shrimp in the water. I wanna tell you real quick, because this is very important, do not overcook your shrimp. I have the water boiling. I have a timer set for two minutes, and as soon as I put the shrimp in, I set the timer. When two minutes is up, you take them out, you take them to the sink, put them back in your strainer, rinse them with cold water, and then I put them on ice. Because if you overcook these, they're gonna to be tough and nobody likes tough shrimp. Okay, so as I mentioned, the water's boiling. We're gonna get our shrimp in here. Just put them in there. I'm gonna set the timer immediately, like I mentioned, two minutes. And I like to stir them once or twice. You see how they're turning red? Shellfish usually turn red when they're done. Okay, so two minutes is up. Let's go ahead and get these strained and cooled. All right, see how hot those are? I'm gonna run some cold water over these immediately to cool them down because we want them to stop cooking. And what I like to do is this cools them a little quicker is I like to throw some ice cubes in on top, run a little bit of water. And I'm gonna let these cool for about five minutes while I make up the sauce. All right, let's get our sauce made up. As I mentioned, two ingredients, ketchup and horseradish. I have the extra hot. And how you mix this is really going to depend on how hot you like your horseradish. So, I'm going to put three, four tablespoons of ketchup. And let's start with that right there. So, about a half a teaspoon. And we just kind of mix this up like this until it's evenly mixed. And let me give that a taste. That's pretty warm right there. All right. Here we go, let's get our shrimp and let's taste this stuff. All right, so here you go. I've gone ahead and made these look pretty for you. Really one thing left to do, and that's taste these guys. So I'm gonna soak this really good because I like them coated well. Mmm. Mmm. Whew. There's a little kick right there. But... It's so good, my eyes are watering. You definitely only wanna cook these for two minutes because they will get tough otherwise. These are not tough. These are perfectly cooked, nice, tender, home-cooked shrimp cocktail. These are the best. If you haven't cooked them like this, definitely try it. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. Have a great day. 
Mm. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of these shrimp. Mm.